Researchers shocked us with their news that 99% of the population died about 70,000 years ago. Now, archaeologists and geneticists are trying to understand what happened at that time and how in such a short period our population grew to more than 8 billion people. Watch this video about this and other archaeological discoveries. Hi friend, you are on the Kurtop channel. Ritual Figurines Built after 1325, the Great Temple served as the spiritual center of Tenochtitlan until 1521 when the Spanish conquerors destroyed it. But thanks to the efforts of the Templo Mayor Project and INH, the history of this temple comes to life again before us. The Templo Major was not just a building, it was a place of worship for Huitzilopochtli and Tlaloc, symbolizing war and fertility. Today, its remains can be seen near the Zocalo in Mexico City. Recent excavations have uncovered the Tepetlacali, a treasury where figurines and various objects were found. These finds tell about the ancient culture and rituals of the Aztecs. According to archaeologist Lopez Lujan, these figurines had special significance in religious rites. A stone chest was also found indicating the reign of Montezuma I, which contained more than 186 relics. These finds are evidence of the rich and unique culture of the Aztecs. Time Capsule from the Late 18th Century in the USA at West Point, experts opened a mysterious box that had lain for 200 years at the base of the monument. Everyone thought that there would be ancient documents there, but there were only coins. It turned out that the box contained old American coins and a commemorative medal. But even despite their age, the cost of each coin is only a few hundred or even thousands of dollars. Archaeologist Hudson was a little upset but still took the lead box to the laboratory where he began to analyze the contents because there could be other mysterious objects lost to time. And although the box did not bring the expected discoveries, each find is a new piece of history. Mysterious Golden Egg In Alaska, researchers discovered a mysterious golden object that most closely resembles the egg from the movie Alien. Scientists immediately thought that there was something alive inside or that it was some kind of new sea sponge. This mysterious artifact was discovered at a depth of three kilometers during an expedition led by NOAA. The most interesting thing is that it has a hole. One of the researchers suggested that something was trying to get in or get out. Scientists are shocked. They have never seen anything like this. Kerry Howell, an expert in deep sea ecology, admitted that in 20 years of work, she had never encountered anything like this. Murray Roberts, a marine biologist, suggested that it could be the shell of some deep sea creature. Maybe it's even the egg of a deep sea shark or stingray. Perhaps something has already hatched from it and swam into the unknown depths of the ocean. At this point, the egg has been sent to the laboratory for further and more accurate study from a magical remedy to a serious illness. In ancient times, these stones were worth a fortune. It was believed that they saved from poisons. The Middle Ages were a very unusual time in our history, palaces, dances, and poisons. The aristocracy even took poison in small doses to get used to it. That's where pebbles and bezoars came in handy, which according to those times absorbed poison from drinks. They were usually turned into stylish accessories, rings and pendants. But here's a fun fact. One smart surgeon, Ambrose Pare, decided to test whether bezoars actually worked. And it turned out that no. Typically, bezoars form in animals, for example. When a small piece of fur enters their stomach and begins to become overgrown with minerals, like a pearl in an oyster. Now, of course, these stones are valuable only as museum exhibits, but they never cease to amaze even today. The oldest meteorite. Meet Erg Chech 002. Not a simple meteorite, but a whole great grandfather from space. It is already 4.6 billion years old. It was found in the Sahara Desert and holds the record for being the oldest volcanic rock on Earth. This is an andesitic achondrite, one of the first space inhabitants. Scientists from Australia decided to find out all its secrets. Understand how the planets were formed and what happened in the solar system at the dawn of its existence. But our old man has prepared a surprise. The isotope aluminum-26 was the main source of heat in the early evolution of the solar system. In addition, by its quantity, experts usually determine the age of meteorites. But it turned out that at the beginning of the existence of the solar system, this aluminum was distributed unevenly. 
so the old methods of determining age are no longer so accurate. This discovery changed the ideas of scientists. Now, to find out the age of the space inhabitant, we need a new approach. Mayan Ritual Victims at the archaeological site of Moral Reforma, where the ancient Mayans once reigned, scientists have found 13 burials with elongated skulls. Yes, and these poor fellows were beheaded. I have often said that the Mayans had a special tendency to make skulls elongated, changing their shape even in childhood. It was a sign of high status, and all 13 new skulls discovered belonged to men aged 17 to 45 years. Miriam Martinez, an anthropologist, says, The skulls were cut off with a sharp object, although it is unclear whether such injury led to death or something that happened afterward. And one more interesting fact, some of the remains had red pigment on them. What is it and why is it there? Scientists are still working on this issue. Theopetra Cave Time Capsule Just think, 130,000 years ago, people already chose this cave as their home. These are the conclusions archaeologists made while studying the Theopetra Cave in the heart of Greece at the foot of Meteora. This amazing piece of land was formed between 137 and 65 million years ago. People found a cozy place to live in this cave, and its inner world turned out to be extremely spacious, about 500 square kilometers. And what's especially nice is that the cave is so light thanks to the huge entrance. The exploration of the cave began in 1987 and lasted for 20 years under the strict guidance of Dr. Nina Kiparisi Apostoliki. Initially, the cave served as a shelter for local shepherd sheep, but then became a key site for archaeologists throughout Greece. Here's an interesting fact. Theopetra is the only cave in Greece where the historical lifeline from the Paleolithic to the Neolithic is clearly visible. Such a scientific window into the past is a real rarity. 99% of people on Earth died. There are moments in human history that make us think about the fragility of life. One of these moments is the bottleneck effect. According to the results of genetic studies, approximately 70,000 years ago, the number of modern humans, Homo sapiens, fell to critically low levels, perhaps to several thousand individuals. What caused this mass extinction? The main theory points to a powerful volcanic eruption in Indonesia, the Toba Supervolcano. It was one of the most destructive in the history of the planet and caused dramatic climate change, which led to global cooling. This, in turn, created extreme survival conditions that many human populations were unable to cope with. However, despite all the difficulties, a small group of people continued to fight for survival, becoming the genetic ancestors of all living people. Modern human genetic evidence suggests that the genetic diversity of Homo sapiens is surprisingly low, especially when compared with other species. This fact is a direct consequence of the bottleneck. Today, scientists around the world continue to explore this unique period in human history, trying to understand all the mechanisms of survival and adaptation of our distant ancestors. This episode reminds us that the history of our species is full of secrets and surprises, and how important it is to appreciate every moment of our existence. Ancient Arrow Somewhere in the heights of the Scandinavian mountains, scientists have found an arrow older than the pyramids. It is 4,000 years old. At first, archaeologists thought it was from the Iron Age, but as they say, the devil is in the details. When the ice enveloping the arrow began to melt, scientists saw a special stone tip. It turned out that this arrow dates back to the Stone Age. This is the first time such antiquity has been discovered at this site. The arrow hid in the Norwegian mountains and now, thanks to climate change, has decided to show itself to the world. Now, many archaeologists are exploring glaciers in search of treasures hidden under the ice cover ship in Serbia. On the site of the ancient Roman camp of Viminacium, which was the capital of the ancient province of Moesia, Serbian archaeologists are examining the remains of a 13-meter river vessel. This historic camp is located 144 kilometers southeast of Belgrade, the capital of Serbia. This is not the first time that coal miners have found ancient traces of former life in this area. Unfortunately, the ship was not fully preserved and was damaged, but as archaeologists noted, the wood is in good condition. Experts have already moved the remains of the ship to an archaeological camp for further research. Now scientists are trying to determine to what period the found vessel belongs. According to experts, the ship can date back to both the Roman era and the last century. 
archaeologists plan to apply for funding from the Serbian Ministry of Culture to continue their research. When the museum is built, visitors will be able to see all the ships and boats found on this section of the Danube. Roman Swords in Israel in ancient caves near the Dead Sea, where the dry climate has preserved the secrets of past centuries, researchers from Israel have made a startling discovery. In the depths of these caves, they discovered four Roman swords. Amazingly, three of them were still in their original wooden sheaths. The reason for the expedition was an inscription in Hebrew on a stalactite found half a century ago. This inscription indicated the possible presence of ancient artifacts or objects of cult significance. According to experts from the Israel Antiquities Authority, Jewish rebels may have captured these swords from Roman legionnaires 1900 years ago and hid them for later use in the fight against the invaders. The spathas that were found were indeed the main weapon of the Roman soldiers of that time. They had long straight blades and were double-edged. The fourth sword, with a ring pommel, probably belonged to the pilum, an ancient Roman throwing spear. These swords are not just weapons, they are evidence of an era, a bridge between the past and the present. Such finds are very rare because iron is susceptible to corrosion. But thanks to the unique conditions in this region, historical artifacts have remained intact for centuries. Caches in the Lost City have you heard about the lost city of Tinej in Greece? So the other day, archaeologists discovered several ancient caches of coins there. Many people used to think that Tinea was just a myth. But everything changed in 1984 when local residents, while digging a well, stumbled upon an ancient sarcophagus. Recent excavations have brought even more interesting finds. Researchers discovered a huge Roman building with an area of 156 square kilometers, with unique stonework. Inside this building, archaeologists discovered a cache containing 18 coins, a key, a stylus, and Roman ceramics. Elsewhere, another cache was found with 2,100 coins, which date back to the 5th to 6th centuries. Among these coins, especially valuable, are those depicting ancient rulers. In addition, archaeologists have found many figurines intended for sacrifices. And here's another surprise. Scientists have discovered a Roman tomb where a small child was buried. Inside this tomb were found amazing artifacts, including rare coins and a lamp depicting the god Ares. Tinea is indeed often mentioned in Greek myths. According to one legend, this city was founded by Trojan prisoners of war around 1100 BC. This incredible story proves that even lost cities can reveal their secrets after thousands of years. And who knows what else awaits us in Tinea? Skeleton with Intact Brain Imagine a giant 45-hectare mound that looks like a heart in aerial photographs. It is called the heart of Western Anatolia for a reason. Now comes the fun part. For the first time in the history of Turkish archaeology, scientists have discovered well-preserved skin remains. And what else? Remains of the brain. Imagine the remains of a brain that is already 3,700 years old. Finds of such antiquity are something incredible. They were a young guy, 15, 18 years old, and a middle-aged man. Apparently, their house was set on fire during the Bronze Age, and they did not have time to get out. It's scary to imagine, but it was thanks to this fire that their remains were so well preserved. This amazing mound was the real capital of its region in ancient times, but around 1700 BC, it was completely destroyed by attack. And now comes the main question, how is this possible? How could remains of brain and skin survive after such a long time? Thanks to extremely high fire temperatures, this is truly a unique and rare find. 1,000-year-old mummy. Have you heard about the latest archeological discovery from the capital of Peru, Lima? Researchers have discovered a 1,000-year-old mummy. The discovery was made in the prestigious Miraflores area, near which researchers discovered two ceramic vessels and ancient fabrics. The mummy is said to be associated with the Ixma culture, an ancient people who lived south of Lima. It's interesting that Lima has already surprised us with such finds. Recently, another mummy was found on the top of a hill, surrounded by cocoa leaves. And the most interesting thing is that this place of Huaca Puclana is considered an archaeological gold mine. Scientists are sure there are still many secrets waiting to be discovered. Canoe in good condition. 
Archaeologists in Switzerland recently presented a canoe that is 2,500 years old. It was discovered at a depth of 3.5 meters in Lake Neuchâtel. And the most interesting thing, it dates back to the early Iron Age. This ancient boat was discovered thanks to an archaeological survey of the lake carried out with the help of an airplane. And it took several months to completely remove the canoe. As archaeologist Nicole Poissaz says, this find is a real treasure for understanding the antediluvian history of the region. The canoe, made of oak, has been preserved almost in its original form. Archaeologists are now analyzing the canoes to learn more about life during that era. Using special technology, they will even create a 3D model to show what this boat looked like in the past. And if you subscribe to the channel, you will learn about the release of a new video in which I will show even more new archaeological finds that will shock you. Leave your kind comments under the video. Thanks for your views. Bye, everyone.